In addition to that are these 30 acres up here, 35, that have nothing in them. We have the New Orleans Square and Bear Country area, and there's a lot of property out behind that. And we're thinking about unifying that so that we have maybe a Dixieland and strengthening that with maybe a, we have a great property both in music and uh, characters called Song of the South. And everyone remembers the zippity doo -dah and Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox. And we might find ourselves back in the swamps of Dixieland plummeting down into the old briar patch or the laughing place to the music of zippity doo -da and those characters. We're standing here in Fritter Country, Disneyland's newest theme land. And just over my shoulder is one of the most incredible rides here at Disneyland, Splash Mountain. It's located on the northwest corner of the park between the Haunted Mansion and Country Bear Playhouse. And its presence adds to the already impressive mountain range, including the Matterhorn, Big Thunder, and Space Mountain. So what do you say we go inside and take a look at this new attraction? Welcome to Splash Mountain, Disneyland's newest adventure and the signature attraction of the park's newest land, Ritter Country. Here, Southern Whimsy comes alive as guests speed through backwoods waterways, swamps and ponds on their way to an appointment with a wet and wild destiny. But first, let's back up and find out how all this splash happy magic began. Like any attraction at a Disney theme park, Splash Mountain results from the creative vision and know-how of many talented individuals at Walt Disney Imagineering. It began with a simple idea to build a log flume attraction based on the adventures of Br'er Bear, Rabbit, and Fox. The characters appear in Walt Disney's classic 1946 film, Song of the South. Creating magic, however, can be demanding work, and Splash Mountain was no exception. Conceptual drawings were made, storyboards developed, and elaborate models built. Every aspect of Splash Mountain's show has been worked to perfection. Among its features, the world's largest and steepest flume drop. Reaching speeds of 40 miles an hour, it would be the fastest thrill ride at Disneyland. In the spring of 1987, a ground raising was held at Disneyland to mark the beginning of construction of Br'er Rabbit's future home. Splash Mountain began to take shape. More than 100 audio animatronic figures, the largest cast of characters ever assembled in a Disneyland adventure, make their home within Splash Mountain's maze of tunnels, caves, and waterways. On July 17, 1989, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Walt Disney Company, Michael Eisner, joined Mickey Mouse and Br'er Rabbit in dedicating the mountain. Together, they pulled the lever, releasing a half million gallons of water, completing six years of Imagineering and hard work. But Splash Mountain is more than a flume ride. It's a three-dimensional recreation of one of Disney's most beloved films, complete with mystical southern landscape full of briar patches and moonlit swamps. Songs from the film's Academy Award-winning score echo throughout the mountain. At the end of the nine-minute journey, you'll find the grand finale, a thrilling plunge taking guests down a five-story drop. But the fun doesn't stop there. The biggest animated prop ever used at Disneyland, the 50-foot Zippity Lady, greets guests as they continue their journey. So the next time you're in Critter Country, grab a hollowed-out log at Splash Mountain and take a ride into folklore and fantasy. And be prepared for the wildest, wettest, fastest plunge ever, because they don't call it Splash Mountain for nothing. standing in front of Splash Mountain. Do you see this? This is Disneyland's latest attraction, and they've outdone themselves. It, it's, it's a cross between Big Thunder Mountain and Pirates of the Caribbean, all in one ride. And it, it's, a, it's a log ride. It's, it's fast. 
and, and it's steep. And, and, and it's wet. And it's... Well, here, let me show you. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine in my way. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity Hey, everybody! What do you think? Well, the verdict is in, and the jury is wet. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. I've got a ride to catch. There is a new attraction at Disneyland. It's a place where you can enjoy a relaxing journey through the backwoods swamps and bayous of the South. A place that brings to life the tranquility of a southern landscape. And then, there's the drop. <laughs> Splash Mountain's five-story flume drop sends log riders down the mountain at over 40 miles per hour. Barely enough time to catch your breath. The entire attraction is based on the Disney classic film, Song of the South, as characters are brought to life through the use of audio animatronics. Well, in this show, uh, we went back to the movie Song of the South and constantly looked at that and made sure that the costuming and the color and the makeup, even uh, the right amount of teeth were in the characters, things like that. Splash Mountain is now the largest attraction at Disneyland. It's located in the northwest section of the park in what is now known as Critter Country, formerly called Bear Country. The mountain is 87 feet tall, 12 feet taller than Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Inside, scenes from the Song of the South film come alive with lavishly designed shows and humorous characters. In all, there are over 100 audio animatronic figures Watch out for geese trying to jump in your boat and alligators, uh, they do that a lot. <laughs> so now there's a new mountain on the Disneyland landscape because joining Big Thunder, Space Mountain, and the Matterhorn is the wettest mountain of all. Inspired by the immense popularity of Matterhorn Mountain, Space Mountain, and Big Thunder Mountain, Disneyland's mountain range of thrill rides boasts a brand new peak. It's the official opening of Splash Mountain in the park's newly named Critter Country. On hand for the opening day festivities were celebrities from television and film, along with Michael Eisner from the Walt Disney Company. Splash Mountain, which is the longest, highest, tallest, keenest, best boom ride ever built. Unlike Disneyland's other thrill attractions, Splash Mountain offers riders a watery drop into a fantasy world. Based on Walt Disney's 1946 animated classic, Song of the South, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear take passengers on a waterborne journey through backwood swamps, bayous, and waterfalls. We went back to the movie Song of the South and constantly looked at that and made sure that the costuming and the color and the makeup, even uh, the right amount of teeth were in the characters, things like that. In fact, with over a hundred animated figures performing, Splash Mountain represents the largest audio animatronic cast ever assembled at Disneyland. And if that's not enough, the 87-foot-tall mountain hurls guests down a 47-degree chute, plunging five stories below. It kind of combines a lot of the things that are uh, 
are in some of the best rides that I like at Disneyland. I like the, the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Matterhorn, and Space Mountain kind of all in one. It's the steepest, scariest, wildest, most thrilling attraction ever built. And now it's a new landmark on the Disneyland mountain range of thrillers. There's new construction going on at Disneyland as Mickey and his friends begin preparations for a brand new attraction called Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain will be the biggest, longest flume ride ever built in a theme park. It will include one of the world's tallest and steepest drops, 52 and one half feet. It's another example of the constant effort to bring new vitality to Disneyland. I expect its popularity will rival that of our other recent attractions, uh, Captain EO and Star Tours. When completed, Splash Mountain will not only be the largest attraction at Disneyland, but also the largest flume ride in the world. We've got uh, 103 audio animatronic figures singing and dancing all through the ride. Uh, we've got five drops, and the big finale drop at the end of the attraction is one of the tallest that's ever been built. Based on the Disney classic, Song of the South, Splash Mountain features a hair-raising five-story plunge at its climax, as well as a trip through the perilous Briar Patch. Characters from the popular feature film will provide the entertainment when Splash Mountain is completed in January 1989. Marnie, this is Splash Mountain. Yeah. We're building this right now at Disneyland. When it opens, it'll be the largest log flume ride in the world. The largest? Mm-hmm. Well, how big is it going to be? Well, it's about a 10-minute ride. There's 103 animated characters. It's all based on the Song of the South characters, Rare Bear, Rare right. Rabbit, Uncle Remus, and all that. And so this is a whole musical adventure. This last drop here is almost six stories high that you'll drop down. And then when, when it's finished, this will be the fastest ride in the park. How fast? We don't know yet. Maybe 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an but, hour? But don't quote me. instantly. Super discounts on McDonald's food, vacations via Delta Airlines, or free passports to Disneyland. So drop into McDonald's today. Play Splash for Cash and celebrate Splash Mountain coming to Disneyland this summer. After all, you wouldn't want to be left high and dry. Play Scrabble at McDonald's, the game with over 70 million prizes. Enough for one out of three people to win. First, get your board and game piece. How do you win? Easy. Just match your game pieces to the letters on the game board or win instantly. What could you win? One million dollars and lots of other prizes, like delicious McDonald's food. 
and vacations to Disneyland to experience Splash Mountain. So now what? Hurry down and play the Scrabble game at McDonald's. I won! Uh, 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 we're here. We're ready to ride Splash Mountain. But uh, the no. I mean, no. Uh, wait, wait, I was told that we could be the first to ride Splash Mountain, and we're ready to go. Well, well it's not no. open yet. I'm sorry. Well, hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry, you guys. You know, I, I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> 